Hi, this is Mark with QuixVenture.com. In this video, we will continue our Crystal Ubuntu installation by modifying some files so that we can use the Apple TV with either component or composite video. I personally need to use component video because I don't have any HDMI ports on one of my televisions. In order to set a component resolution, we need to modify the xorg.comp file in the Linux partition of your USB thumb drive. To do that, we need to boot to Linux Mint or some other Linux distribution that can read the GPT partition table of the thumb drive. Once you've booted to Linux Mint and installed the thumb drive, you should see the recovery and the Linux partitions on your desktop. When you see them, go ahead and open a terminal window. We're going to modify the xorg.comp file, so copy the command directly from the website at quicksventure.com and paste it into your terminal window, sudo gedit slash media slash linux slash etsy slash x11 slash xorg.conf. The file itself is relatively long with a whole bunch of information in it, and we need to modify the section that begins with identifier screen zero. We're gonna add two sections of text, and it's best if you just copy them directly out of the Quicks Venture guide. We're going to be adding some options right underneath the monitor zero section. I'm not totally sure if it matters where these items go, but I'm going to add them right under monitor. I'll tab them out so you can see them all. We're going to use display device TV, use TV format component. The TV standard I'm going to use is HD 720, and the overscan is 0.8. Uh, I use a 720 panel. If you were going to use a 1080 panel, you would switch that to HD 1080p. And then we have to add a section of mod lines at the bottom, or mode lines. And that goes right underneath the display subsection. And this just tells the uh, NVIDIA driver exactly which screen resolutions we intend to be able to support. So under subsection display, add another line and add the uh, mode line that was in the Quicks Venture guide. In this item, or in this uh, mode line, I, I do include the 1920 by 1080 as well as the 1280 by 720. I personally can only use 1280 by 720 and I set the default at HD 720 here. So the mode line is fine for either 1080, 720, or uh, 480p. Uh, the options going to be used is whatever is in this section here. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit File and Save. Now, if you have to use uh, composite video, there are some more options listed on the Quicks Venture uh, website that uh, I've never personally tested, but uh, some other forums have said that those settings will work in this file. So it's a very similar format, or a very similar set of uh, options. Instead of component, you're going to set composite and change a few more options. Read the Quicks Venture website if you want to go ahead and do that. Once you've made all the changes you need, uh, make sure that you have saved the file and close out gedit. Shut down Linux, remove the uh, USB thumb drive, and plug it into your Apple TV, and now you should be able to boot with component or, depending, composite video. This is Mark with QuicksVenture.com. Thanks for watching.